Oh, good afternoon and welcome to Black Country Blitz PC Gaming. Right then, since the last stream, one has got rather busy with this map combo. Now, first off, I've got to give the credit to Wombat Tucker. Link is in the description. I'm sure everybody that plays Euro Trucks or American Trucks knows of Wombat. Yep. There's a couple of people in this world that you really need to know. Yeah. Wombat, Squirrel, uh, a guy called Milan, Zuski. Yeah. People that do a lot. There's a lot more. But, I mean, for me, there's a couple of ones that I go to on a regular basis. So, Squirrel, Wombat, Milan. Not at the moment because Milan's channel's been took down by YouTube. Why on earth? Why? The guy does so much by just posting uh, mods and everything. So, Milan does mods. Wombat does map combos and reviews on um, stuff like that. Of course, Squirrel is the godfather of Euro Trucks. <laughs> Sorry, but you know, got to speak as you find. Any road. Today, I've gone and done this. And I've followed Wombat to the actual letter as they say so with the description underneath exactly as one bats put it out i've followed it the only one mod in this was row x 26 yeah there's a free version i think it's 2.3 2.6 it cost me one pound 40 euros i don't know the conversion into pound coins but again it's probably just over a quid jesus folks I know it's times a mod with the coronavirus, but a quid. So you can sit here and follow everything else. If you've got the PC and, the, you know, to run it. Again, I'm lucky enough to have a decent PC. Well, more than a decent PC. I've got a tracking top of the range uh, graphics card, processor, memory. But again, I've known people run this kind of stuff on lower spec PCs. Yep. <coughs> but... As I did say the other day, once Wombat comes out with some form of uh, mod to, you know, a map combo, then I will bring it to you here on the channel. And that's what I've done. I've just spent the last half hour, 45 minutes. Now, we started off, we got all the DLCs, what uh, SDS Software have brought out. Um, and, of course, yesterday I did Pro Mods 2, 4, 6. And of course, as I've said many, many times, Wombat sits there and he knows exactly which ones sort of connect. Uh, and if he gets it wrong, he'll correct it and vice versa. And he also will update, yeah? I could give this guy enough credit. Uh, he's really nice to talk to. You know, again, he must have quite a lot of people. Oh, this is that, this is that, this is that. I actually messaged him uh, with a problem. What? I had in uh, American trucks within <laughs> literally seconds the guy is answering me on discord yeah uh just to show me a picture his was working mine was the road was broke and it was my fault I'd got something in that I hadn't as soon as I changed it my road come back hey what more can you ask for a person so one but thank you very 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 much go and like subscribe to his channel if you're my lover of euro trucks and American I mean I've got my American trucks now spot on, and it's all down to one, but again, plugins, you know, other mods, but for maps, I call fault the guy. Anyway, so go and like and subscribe to his channel. I'm sure he'd love a few more. And I've bought, so I'm going to start off, I'm going to go and transport to Chernobyl. I want to go and see if this is the Chernobyl that I had before. It looks eerie, as if as the Chernobyl is nobody there the reactor blowed up and all that and it's just barren so that's where we made him so without further ado let's get on now i've got me a cup of tea or remains of one so while we load up the carriage management 
See, I've already bought it. Now, I A tested this. It might crash uh, with other mods. It did crash when I first... No, sorry, second time I loaded it. It said because I hadn't put a foil in. Uh -huh. Oh, well. As soon as I put the foil in, uh, bang it, come on. My fault. Nobody else's. But as you can see, it takes a little bit to do because it's uh, some of the files are quite big. Now, also since the last stream, as you know, I like my traffic mods. And for love and money, I couldn't find one that was spawning out enough traffic. So, <coughs> I couldn't find none on the normal sites that are for print. So I went to a uh, Steam Workshop, and lo and behold, I found one that is compatible with 136. And... It's by somebody that I've never ever heard of before. And you know what? It works flawlessly. I don't lag. I've got all the Jazzy Cat packs in. Um, it spawns out enough traffic. Nothing too major. Right, so we're in Chernobyl. And you know what I'm looking for? The reactor. And it could be there. Now, again, when the last time we had this Chernobyl in, it was, I think we had to pay for it, yeah? So, again, I don't know if that is changed now, or it's a cut-down version, I assure, but I'm trying to look for the reactor, and that looks a reactor kind of building. The last time I come over this part of the world, it had a, a guard on. That's what I'm looking for. There he is. So it ain't changed yet. So this, folks, is to resemble the Chernobyl reactor, yeah? So if we come out of cab view, that is that explosion. Okay, we could drive up to it, we could go through it. But in part of this now, it gets really eerie, as if, you know, something ain't right. So let's have a drive around. Now I've ripped out a few mods, which, again, some of them said they were compatible with 137. Others have said that they were aware with certain stuff. So to be on the safe side, I've removed quite a lot in the night. Because my intentions was to get this uh, map combo up and running. And of course... SES bring out new new uh, mod, 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 get me teeth in new maps <coughs> it's all taken very long to get on the ball and uh, do others now is that the reactor I just want to have a, now, a little drive around now there seems a few people in there compared to last time now I'm assuming they drive on this side of the road to do because the car's going up but I'm sure we could see the reactor Again, they could be trying to build it now, rebuild it. Check them here, little red lights and coming on. Yep. Now that were working earlier on. For some love no money, I ain't got a clue why. Now we'll go and pick a job up. I think they've took that like scaredness out of the reactor. But we could see it before. Whether it's round here somewhere, I ain't got a clue. But it looks all here, like all the buildings, yeah? Nobody's in them like that one. It fell apart and broken windows. I think it have a little spot on that. <coughs> There's a company here. Is them the reactors? Let's just have a little ride up the road. We can always turn round. We'll be back to you in a minute. <laughs> I ain't got my finger on where you fly out and around the buildings. I ain't done it with this. I've done it with um, American trucks. I don't reckon that's the reactor. It could be. Hey, do a bit of sightseeing, eh?
This is the love of this game. You can. Oh, I'm gonna have hours and hours of fun through Mr. Wombat. I did before when we put it all on. And as he's just said, there's a few things that I actually on this big combo at the moment. It ain't a final one, but I followed one back long enough now on his channel. Oh, look at this uneven road! I love it. Hard cushions bouncing about. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah, look, restricted area. Guards marking it. Yeah, I know it's a real, but it's just that eerie feeling of like what has happened. Whoever's done this, they've done a cracking job. Again. I don't think we can drive up there. Well, it can, because there's the sign, so let's have a drive if we could. It'll stop me driving up. The petrol station, according to this. How eerie that looks. Hey. Petrol station at the side of the road. Now, like I said, I'm feeling all these bumps and lumps on my cushion. The tiniest little bit of feedback through the wheel. <coughs> you don't need it with Euro trucks. You don't need all or, or American trucks. You don't need that force feedback in the wheel. Some like a little bit of ten, like the wheel go back in the centre. But a lot of it you don't really need now. What's this border control? Again, I was going to drive up here, but I'm glad I have because it is a border control. So, let's have a look. Again, I had to get rid of my physics mod. So that's still bouncing the truck about like a good one. And now that barrier goes up. Yep. Because sometimes, and I've done it before, I've had a mod in. And especially when I was in Russia, it would not let... Or was it Turkey? Turkey, not Russia. It would not let the barrier go up. Now I've missed the right road. Now, can I turn around in this place? It might let me. No idea, but let's just have a look. It'll just stop me dead if I go. Yeah, some of these places you can actually drive in. But this looks eerie, doesn't it? <laughs> looks, you know, shouldn't really be in this area. Kind of feeling. And I've just spoken to my good buddy Mark, and he's been trying to explain to me our super good VR is with Euro trucks so again I've said before that's something I've got to wait to have an experience look at these I have buildings let's have a go out the cab yeah so you can get a better feel it looks like you're in another world though it and again Here's that other mod I've put in that will give me uneven textures. Say like our old poor like the local council by me doing the roads, they yeah, filled it in properly. So it's different texture. I'm actually feeling that. There's a little railway here. Again, whether it's a real one, I don't know. Again, I feel that bump 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 goes across the railway. I mean you know, Derry Paw. Absolutely fantastic coming through Chernobyl. Now, there's a big fair idea. There's so many good places what these people who make the mods do. I mean, I'll go to Paris as well. Uh, sometime. Again, there's a lot more probably, I don't know. But look at all these flats. These are actually so much like uh, documentaries I've seen on Chernobyl. Where these Oiroys black palettes when I get through these um, leaves. But look at it, yeah. Nothing about here, no trucks, no cars, no nothing. Here's that big like, Ferris wheel, and I think that is actually in Chernobyl. I'm sure it is something like that. It looks like a complete ghost hand, doesn't it? Right. Again, I modified the truck as well. Loads of mods on there. Uh, lights. Uh, what else have we got? That's the I beam. 
I love that um, name box at the top. He's got the alphabet in. Again, so many different ones, but hey, okay. little push boat abandoned. Stupid little things and finish the details. Really, really bring this map on. <coughs> Again, I'm going to feel all these bumps and lumps in the road. Again, with that physics mod, look at the truck, how it's bouncing up and down. To me, that looks realistic. It feels realistic. Yeah. If I pull my brakes and the truck goes forward and up, you know, we don't get that with the vanilla truck, as they call them. Now, the next thing for me, even though I do like that big griffin, on my truck I'm gonna be doing a skin just downloaded a template pack my good mate Keith or Fred we call him he's got many he's got more names than anybody but now his real name's Keith he learnt me how to skin I've only got to do oh now there is a few people here in Chernobyl which again makes a change just having empty benches and look he even got you know statues of people again I'm going to have to go and have a look at the map, see if I can actually go through this. Yep. Whatever it is, we can drive through it. But again, it's totally different. It's, you know, it's a uh, average mod. Now, this might be taking me down a total different track. Again, bump, bump, bump. I'm feeling it. My physics is bouncing me everywhere. This is what I like. Different textures and everything on the roads, yeah? This is what makes the game for me. That I know there's probably loads of little lead, uh, hidden places in this. I can't remember driving down here before. It's a good job I've uh, filled up with diesel before I started out. I don't want to be running out of uh, diesel down here. Again, I can't speak the lingo, so I don't know what that says. It's got to be some stop. We've got guards here anyway. Or police. I think that's a guard, I don't know. Somebody, yeah, it's a police officer, a guard. And there's this one in the blue. Whoever it is, I'm letting me through. Cheers, boys. <laughs> this is like a forest area. Again, I wish I'd have picked the job up now because I'd have been checking it through here and having a one, but it's nice to have a little ride round. Look, it says. If you have got the time to sit there uh, and just download and follow one bat's video, like I say, you get to that one part, that row X26, for £1.40 or £1.40 £1 euro. So I'll just say £1.40 for arguing sake. You can get the, the, the proper version. And follow one batch video along from from start to finish. Yeah. Now again, I was a bit wary because I've got like all the Jazzy Cat packs cars in, and I wore too sure just where in the stack comes first, whether it's the cars or the maps. So what I've done is I've given the maps priority. So first off is the map itself. Followed by more, come on, you think of it. Followed by more sound pack. Followed by me weather. Followed by me um, mod for doing the traffic. And then followed by me physics. And then all the maps, yeah. Then after that, followed on by all the Jazzy Cat packs. Also have we got the, the mod that does the CP. Uh, up there, the lighting on the front of the cabin, the naming. So basically, all the stuff like that and the trailer packs, which I'm from SCS or CSC, which we've all got, which gets me to be able to put the woman in and all the little stuff on the dashboard and that. They're right at the bottom of the pecking order, yeah. So this ground's really uneven. It's like I'm on I'm on a, a 45 degree angle there, and I that's really really feels good to drive on. Right. It's a bloke, a woman, or what? There's a petrol station here anyway, so 
Again, we don't need no filling up. It's a pity they can't get a job from here. But I totally out in the sticks, yeah. Miles away from home. From my garage in sunny Birmingham. As since I restarted the game totally wiped all the maps. That's where I started. Now I ought to do that now. But I might even go back and do that. Um, not at this precise moment. Oh, I don't know what I hit then. I'm going to give it a couple of a weeks because um, certain files need to be updated. People, I've got other things on who do these alterations when uh, game developers update things. Like so, it's one three seven. There's a lot of the maps. Um, which still have been put onto this combo, which Wombat says will follow so soon, soon as one of the roads where it should connect. Uh, and he says in the video, if you follow along, that the guy is working on it, but not at the precise time. Anyway, that must mean we might, that's Chernobyl area. I'd love to know what that says, but I don't. Right, so we'll just keep going forward. <coughs> I couldn't go that way anyway because they was both closed off so I can only go forward I mean it is open world but there's some restrictions where you core drive through and again I can live with that and I think most people can as well you know at, at some stage this is probably all going to connect up and just be one massive map because I can see it coming I really can but with SES software itself bringing out new working on two new maps i think it is for euro or is it two for uh, it's either two for euro or, or two for america but i know we're getting a new one here in um ats whoa no nope. let's do it if i got nothing behind me i'm going to do a reverse let's go and pick a job up from there shouldn't really do it but again being this neck of woods there's no traffic yet now again i might have to bring that traffic mod up a little bit higher but if I don't I'm happy to leave it as it is as long as I get some traffic but I know there's a job here so let's go and pick a job up and uh, let's go and see eh? warning so cows in the field somewhere and lo and behold look what we've got here is it a cow some kind of animal now the horses move. Are these moving or are they just static? Aye. Well look at that, eh? We've got animated cows. I thought they were real. As in, you know, moving. I thought they was just images. But no, they're actually moving. How about that, eh? Fantastic. Right then. More uneven textures for me to drive up. Just how I like it. Right. As I said, you could do well the truck jobs due to the fact that these are not compatible. I'll just show you. Shouldn't find none. If it does, then I ain't going to take it now, it though. Uh, and the reason is because well the trucks don't recognise the maps. So all you can do is the freight market. Again, some of the jobs, there ain't many sometimes. Right, and you will probably find that you'll have big journeys. But again, if you like to sit here, and drive now is that taking me i ain't got a clue in the world i wished i'm gonna have to learn these areas so that's what is that i can just about read that i don't know what this region is i think we've just come through there so hold on we should know because i think we're on now right that's ukraine i have no idea what this big blue part is here so it's russia is it somewhere in russia anyway so we got Azerbaijan, Georgia, Turkey. Again, is this Russia? I don't know. I'm assuming it's because it says Russia there. So uh, Ukraine. Are you sure what this red is? Because it's you telling me. Again, I'm rubbish with geography. I get lost in just this little part. <laughs> Never mind when you come over to Europe. Anyway, we're taking that. So. Yeah, it is Russia, are you? That even got a name, so that's what we're taking now. Route calculated. Aye. 
and that nice new sat lady tells me so let's get the first job underway on this nice big combo and let's just see if it can run smooth uh, is this one of these where I'm going <laughs> it's a farm ain't it though we're married all the farm animals how's this round that corner because I've lost the trailer I could move to you and all <laughs> Can I drive all the way around? No. I've done this all the time. I've lost my trailer, folks. I don't know where the trailer's gone. <coughs> oh, I should have enough room. Sometimes it's a little... Oy, sometimes it's a little bit hard just to see. I wish we could zoom in on these bloody... I think I can, can I? Where's that put there? I don't think it's mapped it. Ha <laughs> hey, ha! It's in my trailer. What are you doing? Oh, come on. This road's really bad. It says it's here somewhere. Is it here? No. Oh, where the bloody hell is that gone? Cool seeing it round here. It ain't that one. Is that it there? I bet that's it. Hiding away up that corner, it is all. So, better go into this reverse. Let's just make sure if it's first. Yeah, that's the one I'm taking. So let's go and reverse back in it. We'll get there eventually, folks, honestly. And I can't wait till I get more universal love repaired by Fanatec. So I can go back to trucking with my round wheel rather than trying to truck with this F11. Not that I'm doing that bad with it at the moment. It just don't seem right uh, trucking with a, <laughs> a racing wheel. Any road, we're all re ready to go. Off to Russia, here we come. Say goodbye to the farm. That's everyone, it's too. Please sound, nah, man, I tell ya. Sound awesome. Hey, I got my fan on behind me, I got the window down in the truck. All I could do now is a few tunes, but again, Mr. YouTube would uh, have me for copyrights. Forgot we had one of them famous DJs that can get away with the blasting sets of disco stuff down the yeah, internet. I said that on a a well famous DJ the other night. He can get away with Please streaming music. Left. What's the difference between us and him? Uh, none. He don't own none of the records. Well, as in, yeah, he own the copyrights to him, just like I do. Any right? Let's get underway, sod him and his, and his mixing. Right, let's get my speed up in the middle, now my diesel, that's him. And let's just see how this traffic mod, which I put in in the early hours of this morning, reacts to what we're doing on the stream. just like listening to that fan next to me <laughs> at the moment yeah. right we're going straight back Please through straight ahead. where we've just come from so all this wooden area we're going back and here this time oh hey, hey that is a bit of a beast 
Oh, you're going to drive slow through here then. Because that physics, they'll like that. Which again, that's why I put it on. Oh, you're going to drive slow through here then. Because that physics, they'll like that. Which again, that's why I put it on. That is awesome. It feels like I'm in the truck. Oh man. Why does this coronavirus have to be on and two? Why could I get back to work to go and blow me a bloody VR headset? No. If anybody's rich and famous out there and got, you know, a spare 300 odd quid, you know, donations and kindly welcome, because that's what I need. No. Again. Small donation keeps the channel going, it takes a lot of electric and goes to buy in new games and things like that for the channel. What comes out, I also buy it with the money from that. So that's where the people that do donate to the channel, that's where the money gets spent. It's either on new equipment, um, to keep the channel up and running. Anyway, this is no small feat. Ooh. I'm scared to drive any faster than that 20 odd mile an hour because I can tip this truck on a normal road what am I about to do on a road that's got two very thin paths and this day in the minute I'll tell you what I wish I could I wish you guys out there watching this could feel the sensation that I'm feeling now. I'm only sitting on a cushion. How would this be if I'd got a motion platform, yeah? That's on my bucket list, one of them is. Because to feel, man, this chair can, this actual rig can have one fitted. This next level racing. I imagine being thrown about left and right now and forwards and backwards and whatever else it does as well as the vibration from my cushion and the wheel and a VR headset on Jesus eh? it'd be awesome it feels good now oh and just for good measure two fans blasting on me <laughs> with the rev of the engine there's little things I'm going to eventually buy them if it takes me another five or ten years, I will eventually get them for this. I always, if I want some, I save up. Like I said to me, good buddy Mark, when I get the money, I'm having me a better wheel than a Logitech, and that's what I did. Okay, it has broke, but again, it takes something that I repairable according to Fanatec and it's a normal occurrence with these things breaking just happens to break at this unconvenient time with the coronavirus going on but I gave them the due and I am sorting it out fetching it collecting it for me so I even got to do a thing just give it a gentleman when he comes knocking the door and they'll do the rest so I, I'm good with that anyway so we can get off this bouncy road I don't want to be getting that warning our customers expect your deliveries on time like we often do so it looks like we're going through Chernobyl again I think we're back on a this oh jeez that's like being on sand jeez that was a weird sensation then that was that was something else now I've got no speed limit down here in Chernobyl oh we have Sometimes you can drive down roads and they don't come with no speed limits, yep. I, I used to find that um, mainly in the Brazil map when we were over in America. Or was, no, it could be the other one. Um, yeah, it'll come to me in a minute. I tried to get the map, that's the only one missing for Euro. EAA map, yep. I downloaded a version yesterday, but for love and money, the base, when I uh, unrolled it, pardon me, would just not uh, open up. 
but again I've got enough row there now to last me months so as hard I realize uh, again got the information from one but EAA is one of the biggest maps out there there is big app but it is one of the one of the, the big maps and again free as well so again got to go over that road texture I have put it in so I might as well use it Turn right just two. a small little mod and not only have we seen this Chernobyl once we've seen it for the second Please time round right. Now I'm hoping the car uh, spawning will spawn better. I think I might have to go and um, load. Ah, I tell you what we need to do, and I've seen this. Bear with me, folks. I'm just going to pause it a bit. We're stopping. It. I'm just. Oh, it's, is that crashed? What have I come out? Oh, it's actually crashed on me then. It might have been me trying to stop it, so bear with us. Because what I need to do is... I'm sure there's a foil from Mr. Jazzy Cap. So it's all typing Jazzy, Jazzy Cap packs. I'm sure there's one for Russia vehicles, yep. When we come into Russia. So, uh, let me have a look. I'm sure I seen this yesterday. Right. ETS, no. Right, traffic for ETS. And I day download it because again I hadn't got no Russian vehicles in, so that's trucks painted. That's trucks. Painted trucks. Painted. I'm sure I see something about it. no, that's American trucks in there. No, that's Brazil traffic. Have I seen Russia? I'm sure I have. I had dreamt it. Right, trailers and cargoes. Let's have a look what this is. Hold on. Right, what's this then? Trailers and trucks. Military cargo. Railway cargo. So, no. Oh, don't. Uh, but do, 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 do. Let's do the translation. I think I've got a search facility on there, Jazzy Cap. No. I thought I saw that. I'd seen that. Oh, don't. Trailer packs for Russia. Oh, no. Real Russian trailer pack, uh, ETS, so that's one month thirty. So that's like 2008, so that's really old. Um, so let's do the Google Voice. Russian traffic pack, ATS. Oh, I'd say ATS, I know. Instead of ETS. Never mind. ETS 2. Russian traffic bad by Jazzy Cat. There we go. I know I, I, I'd seen it. Version 2.8. Oh, let's have a look. Ah, Sunny 4. Um, what you call it, 136. So let's have a look, see if they've had an update on that. Uh, da, 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 137. 1, 1, 1, 3, 7. This is how I am. Right, 2.8.5. And I know I'd seen it. I hadn't dreamt it. Here it is. Russian traffic pack. Okay. Right, you must have in mod folder two files. Russian traffic pack by Jessica Base. And Russian now traffic. Order oh, to do. Okay. Therefore, Russian cards are allowed only on Russian cards and all for other cards. Everything. Yeah. Works on all cards. I don't know what he means by cards. He must mean it rose. It's spelled out, especially it does not replace anything. Right. The bit of, uh, according to my subject, it's the standalone, nothing replaced. 
Okay. Well, let's download that. We'll stop the game. Well, the game stopped anyway. That's a nice big foil. 183 meg. <laughs> Jeez. I'll need another two terabyte just to, as I say, drive the way I'm going. Anyway, might as well do it right. If I'm going to do it, like I says. I knew I'd, uh, I'd seen it, though. You know, like, because you, you're looking at so many things constantly. Uh, you're updating this game. You're updating Euro trucks. Um, American trucks, yeah. You have to keep on top of it because these people move so fast uh, with these updates. You know, one day, blah, blah, blah. The next day, bang, there's another one out. There's a guy. He's doing some mapping on uh, American trucks. And every single day, he's bringing out an update. Again, apologize for the guy's name and what map he's doing. But again, he's so... I mean, he does a paid one or he's doing a freebie one. Again, I am actually having the free one at the moment. Um, now, what do these say? Which order do these come in? So, it's the map first and then the base. Yep, yeah, okay. So, for Russia... Hold on. You must have in mod folder two files. Russian traffic map folder and non-Russian maps. So, basically, I only want these cars to work on the Russian maps side of the game so show you what we're doing um my capture excuse the desktop because we're everywhere but um when we come into the folders uh we come into my documents we come into we're on with euro trucks we come into mods i can just see how your mod folder gets extremely big now we just want that one and that one and we just drag them over just like that so basically as the text document says the mod for just russian cars to work i'll just be here so that one the bottom one the cars i'm just going to work in russia and then the base on top. But if I want them to work all Russian cars on all roads, I'd put that one in in its place, which I don't want to do. So I'll just leave that open for the time being. We'll load the game back up. So we'll come to Steam. We'll hit that. Launch it on DirectX 11. It'll do the thing, as you'll see. It now gives me full screen, but we have to go back and kick off the other bit of software which is the uh, display capture right so here we am uh, so we said map goes first so as you can see I'll go down my uh, folder in a sec for you put this traffic near uh, shall we put it just we'll put it just there um, if it loads, it loads. If it crashes, then I know I've got something wrong. Okay. And I've already moved all this. Like I said, we'll start at the top, shall we? Like I said, start the video. Map at the top. Map always has priority. Then your sound, realistic weather. Um, my traffic um, density me physics which is bouncing the truck about and then there's the start of the map combo which has been done by wombat so swedish paris rebuild boy ksr sk um three falls for them row x row extended i think it's short for that's what we've had to pay for is all these yep so four three two one and then the English city names, uh, med map, pro mods uh, to connect to Russia, Russia map, Russia map uh, to the Great Step connection. Uh, Peter, I got a clue who that is. One, well, it's something to do with the Russia map. Uh, again, Russia map again, all down here. Uh, then we got Macadina. Oh, Macadina. Again, probably I pronounced that right, but who cares? There's yesterday's Pro Mods, again, paid for it as well. It's, it's so much easier. Um, that's the file I had from the start, the Rushy map, Death Pack. 
Um, and then, of course, Southern Regions uh, Road, the Great Step. And then, of course, all the Jazzy Cat Packs, Buzzies, Cars, um, Root Advisor, Little DLCs, my money cheat. I had to get that because I, I couldn't be sitting here waiting months. I've downloaded this Root um, Detour mod. That's the one that gives me the textures. That's the one that does all the fancy lights at the front of the truck. Um, that one does the CB radio. That one... Oh, that's for the light boxes, which are in the windows. So I've got, oh, is it Black Country Blitz PC Gaming? Um, again, this is one I found, which Milan showed us. Again, Paul will give you the link to his YouTube, because YouTube have took his channel off for some apparent reason, and their guy does nothing wrong. So come on, YouTube, man. I know there's worse of people out on these channels that do a lot more worse of things, and you don't touch them. Uh, I mean, somebody who don't hate nobody, don't harm nobody, shows the community uh, for Euro trucks, uh, loads of different plugins, and you know, I hate it, nobody, they're going to do that on him. Anyway, I've got this cabin lighting again, it does say 136, but it does work in that, that gives us the like the red light in the cab. Fantastic little mod for reverse lights, so when it's really, really dark at the night, I can see when I'm reversing because it's a nightmare. Normal uh, Sizzy Packs, that's interior emblem, so all the ones on the back, like ACDC and stuff like that, that's that. That's that new posh satin of lady. That's me, professional skin, not mine, made by Mills or Mill. Uh, again, the NHS trailer and the NHS truck skin as well, which is fantastic. Uh, I really enjoy streaming with them. And that's it, folks. Right. Let's get back in. Let's see what's happening. Uh, I hope it don't crash and I hope it gives a, a bit more traffic now in Russia uh, to do. Again, it does take a couple of seconds. More than a couple of seconds. It's stuck. <laughs> Here it goes. At the end of the day, I'm asking it to load up quite a lot of stuff. So, you know, it's always going to be... A bit slow at the first time. I mean, the first time I loaded up any of this, I was like, man, what's happening? Nothing's working. I think I went and made me a drink and I still come back upstairs and the game still hadn't loaded. Um, my friend, Amark, just said, just leave it, it'll load. And that was on the other PC. I mean, that one, I got the... It, at the time, it had got the OIS graphics card, which is a 1080 Ti uh, one. Um... 64 gig of RAM, uh, firing it on M.2 drives. I better turn these off. Um, I've got to turn on right, capture display capture, otherwise, we'd get no banner. Um, but like I say, eventually, I loaded up and we got back into it. Now, have I lost my job? Yep, stuck me back into Birmingham. So, we've lost my job. So, what we're going to do, we'll go back to the garage. We'll go back to Chernobyl and we'll pick up the job because it, if you do have a crash, then this is what it does, yeah? <clears throat> There's no two ways around it. It does what it does and it's a pain, but, you know, this is when you modify games. You expect to have these little teething problems until you get it right. But once you get it right, spot on, hours and hours and hours and hours of fun. Again, it might be some little kind of other mod in them stacks that's giving me the issues. Now, hopefully I want to see some traffic now. Now, I probably will drive all the way up to that road like we did before. We will fire somewhere because I've got a red light, uh, yellow light on my dashboard. And I haven't got a clue what that means. And I don't. I hope we don't crash anymore, or if crashes on me. Right. Some A right. I don't know why that light's on the dash. We'll find out now. It could be about crashed into something. I have no idea what it is. 
All right, let's have a look. Now, last time I pressed escape, that's when it crashed. So, luckily, they do it last time. All right, where am we in the world? Chernobyl, Chernobyl. Jeez, it's, it's massive. Trying to find a company. Now, the A display. Oh, it is. See, now that's even took a little bit of time just to bring up the uh, map and all the things. Now, that's where we're going to take the job from again. Probably are going to be where we was heading for before. But a job's a job, right? And hopefully this traffic is now going to start spawning in. Please turn right. I am. Now again, I ain't sure whether the the traffic mods should be at the top or it should be the uh, map yeah now when I looked at Wombats he had no traffic mods here or jazzy cat packs or anything like that so his map start at the bottom and they just end with the map at the top yeah so he's got no physics in he's got no um, traffic mods he's just basically got the 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 map the map the map combo yeah so he probably has no issues with i'm having these few issues Turn now right soon. it's just something that's conflicting uh or it needs moving up and down Please in the stack right. so we'll gear well if he crashes again then you know i've got all day i'm doing nothing today at all i've done all my jobs Please turn left. And we'll sit here and go through it. Destination reached. Navigation right, finished. That's well, going to be one of these things here, taking. So let's have a look. As I said, code do external contracts. So I've got two choices. Well, guess what? Well, that ain't far off from where we was going before. So we'll go to Russia again. Route calculated. Roughly going to check we not far out of the same place where we was going before now again i don't know why you pick them other jobs see if it will give me and we really pick them route calculated Ray Bobbit if it takes me a job in another 10 hours. I mean, I've done a stream this morning on Twitch. I did three hours on Twitch. Again, it should now be uploaded here on YouTube. It might be even, might have some music on. If YouTube I banned it, probably get an email after. But if they are, turn right. and you've got nearly two and a half hours of what I call turn my anthems and classics. Please when I'm driving, left. there's nothing better than sitting here, when it's quiet, in chat, having a bit of tunes on, and just forgetting that you're stuck on a PC. Yep. Now we have got a bit of traffic. Now we don't have no traffic at all last time. So let's just see what happens as we go to this part now. Now this ain't actually in Russia, am we yet? To be fair, we're in Ukraine. Right, ain't. Is it Ukraine? This is Chernobyl. So it's when we get into Russia where this um, please turn right. He's gonna kick in. So is me expecting to see traffic round here and traffic mod A for round here. We get there. <laughs> Hope if I was in a I don't know what gate, that's any trouble with this. Oh, I'm intense, no wonder I ain't shifting. Make sure I've got my red lights, yep, for lighter, when it gets dark, dark. Again, I am going down here at like 80, 90 mile an hour, which I tend not to do so much these days. I like to take in the scenery again. 
I hate saying I've been a rebel because I have on this game but after over time you tend to think right let's drive properly let's take the game for what it is again sometimes I put my foot down if I want to get to a destination a little bit quicker I might go up six mile over the speed limit but not much more and again with some of these maps you don't know what you're going to come up against I tell you when it comes to cornering again changing the physics of this truck has made me think you've got to slow down now I did um, not on this game on America that ATX map Jesus go and watch one of them streams I did the other day on that if you get time that road I've never rode on a, on a road that was all over the place and that was a bit risky what he just did Right, again, no idea what the signs are, but I don't care. Right, let's get the maps right and get the fuel up. Whatever that thing was on my dashboard, it's now disappeared, so that's a good sign. <coughs> right, let's have a look at the windows. Appreciate them uh, new sounds in this, is it F, M, O, D? Which, again, I didn't notice until I actually seen this for the first time when it, well, American trucks was the first one wore it. Uh, the sounds what they use now, as in a couple of the other games I own, which is the racing games, sure it's in Pro Mods, uh, not Pro Mods, I've got bloody Pro Mods, Project Cars 2. And it's in a uh, Auto Mobilista 2 as well. Again, that uses the same engine as Project Cars. So, this feeling of being in the game with the sound pack is nothing new. You just don't realise. It's made it a lot better. I mean, I said the other night, I was a big fan of it when it first came out. But the way people have, you know, tweaked it, you know. SA software put the uh, base down and then all the people have come in and tweaked it and it's spot on in both games now really 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 it is good turn right soon please turn right that I was mentioning about sometimes little pop-ups come in Oh, we're in a different country. And my good mate Mark says, yeah, that is Pro Mods doing that. When it tells me if I cross from one country to another, we, it was coming up on the right, it might say, like, you know, we're um, going into Russia. It might happen, it, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But he says, yeah, that is to do with Pro Mods. So that's a good thing. Especially, I mean, I could have a little, uh, there's an app. I'd never heard of it until I got told about it called Truckia so basically it puts a bar it depends on how I load it up if I load it up before the game or oh, sorry after I've started the game you don't get to see it it do actually show on the screen uh, as I'm streaming here on OBS uh, to YouTube but if I load it up and then load the game up then it shows on the actual screen. So basically it'll tell me how fast I'm going. It's a bit similar to the one at the top. The only difference is it tells me a little bit more information on what kind of truck I'm driving, my destination, what I'm carrying. I mean I know I could pull up some of that kind of information now with box standard uh, but for that little truck app it's, it's great. It's mainly better for when we play online. Uh, it's got built-in features that will capture people that crash into you uh, 10 minutes before or whatever so you know there's, there's nothing worse than playing this game two or three hours like me and my good buddy have and somebody going crash into you boy look at that one that's a proper road closure hey ambulance good deal now could that be that diversion because I said 
that new mod changes all uh, road accidents. I've never seen that one before, so hey, something new. And we're doing everything seems to be running smoothly now. Again, still unsure about this traffic, but again, playing it this morning, the traffic did take a bit of time to actually spawn in, and I've got to think the map has got exceedingly bloody larger now, so different parts. Again, there might be mods out there that will make the traffic a bit more um, denser. Now, I did try the hyper traffic, and my God, me crashed me every time I loaded it up. Even though it does say, I'm compatible with 137, my arse it is. <laughs> but again, I would have liked to try it if it had worked. But the simple reason is, it looked like it would have given me a lot more denser traffic. But again, let's see. Wim sort of in the sticks, as I call it, out in the open air. So you might not get that much traffic down these roads, so... Just going over them traffic lights, there was a little bit of traffic building up in the town. So, you got to expect it there, look at him here. I hope a car comes down the other way, because he just poor wait. Now, he's got back in behind me. Oh, Barry Sheen. So I've got no patience, eh? Even in the PC game, you're going road rage. You'll go in a minute when I don't overtake me again. I may stick it to the 50 mile an hour, whatever he does. Let's get the cruise control on. There you go. 49, have one less. And I bet he's still so. Here he comes. Go on then. That will be slowing me down after you've overtook me. That's what they tend to do, these computer generated cars. They come tear horse in our pasture. And then they'll slow you down. I'm like, I'm here for real. <laughs> right, who's next? Wants to come and overtake me. So we're now starting to see a bit of traffic on the road. Eh? It's spawning in. Not a too bad then. And I thought when I first seen this texture just. That it was going to bounce me. You know, start vibrating the cushion. But now it ain't done that. You never know which textures I'm going to sort of kick in off this telemetry, whether it's in the wheel or in the cushion that I'm sitting on. It's like, come on then, bring it on. <laughs> I love it, absolutely love it, I tell you. It's a bit of a round bend, that one. So I mean about really going fast, you just go do it. You cannot, well, you can do it, but, you know, if you don't want to lose your truck, it's not advisable to do. Play the game how it's supposed to be intended to be played, and that's properly, yeah. People will enjoy the game a lot more. Driving sensible, okay. I was going a little bit fast then, but again, I've corrected my speed because I know this is going to give me, yep, like gravel. Now we're on. So, again, the cushion's vibrating again. It's giving me 20 mile an hour, 19 mile an hour speeds, which I'm prepared to do. Bloody hell, that's a low plane, eh? Look at that beauty, go. That plane come from out uh, of nowhere then. Again, doing a little bit more than the 19. It is, it's really worth the time it takes to like configure these mod combos. And put it on because the hours are sitting and, and just enjoying these new roads. Places you've never been. I mean, I can hear that playing again. There's probably, I probably have 
when I first had these um, combos put on, again I can't remember driving down here, I can't remember the roads I've drove already. The maps are massive in it. You can never get bored with a game like this. Never. There's always something new. Oh, gone. Ha, ha, ha. Stuck now, are you, Buzz? Hey. Hey, I hadn't got the power to finish off. And here's me just doing this nice, steady 47 mile an hour. Hey, how supposed to speed in a Buzz? <laughs> Save him right. Hey, no sympathy, me. As he comes down from 50 mile an hour to 40. And he's got to take the foot off the gas. I soon slow down. I've got my foot, I'll have to put me, I can't put my other camera on yet till I move the rig. But my foot for Euro is like even a quarter of the way down. It's only like if I'm going uphill, we've started to do up a bit of an hill climb, I'll put my foot down to get up the hill. And then when we balance myself out, I'll come off the foot, I'll come off the gas. Just enough to like, you can hear the engine. You know, I've got my foot off now, as you can hear, no engine. Yeah, just started to put my foot on. Hear it? But I'm just going downhill, so again, one good press of the brakes brings me down to about 44. Let's get a little bit of in the red light. So, now loves that red light, look. <laughs> they look like Sarah. So, it, it, it looks. Very much like a friend of mine. Very much like her, hence why I call her Sarah. And where I go, Sarah follows. <laughs> He'll kill me if I see this video, but I do I care, bring it on. Any road. It's looking good, we've got a bit of traffic. Well, we've got more than a bit of traffic. Starting to build up my end as well now. Now look how Mark was saying, oh I don't want one with a load of trucks. Well, with all these different packs on, it, this little mod, which ain't even compatible according to where, uh, Steam Workshop, is doing the variation pretty well. Cars, trucks, buzzes. Motorbikes, it's done, doing pretty well. So, as the old saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it and I'll stay with it. Like I said, I've done was it either two or three hours this morning on Twitch using it. Never had one problem, not one crash and enoughy. Again, I hadn't got the big map combo on I've got on now, so again it's all trial and error uh, even one bat said that in his video you know if you've got any problems you know either check see if there's been any updates since he put that out and he's put it out today um, so you know he says there'll be a, probably an update for some stuff tomorrow or later on today so again we're back and forth to one bat which I, I do most days anyway. The only next thing we're waiting for now is for Truckers MP to update their game to 137. Um, I went to their Facebook page this morning and there's one or two people like, you know, when is it going to happen? Then, like, you know, we're working at it. So, again, it's coming. And like myself, like so many others, I am not going to downgrade to 136 just to play uh, multiplayer. Um, so, uh, uh, the lads who we play with, they are going back to 136. Not when 137 sounds as good as this, yep. Yeah. It ain't worth taking all stuff off. Again, I know it's a lot of ass because... And they've got to sit there changing whatever they have to change on Truckers MP and I've got sympathy for them because it must be terrible you get everything up and running and then bang 
SCF software bring out a new DLC or something that causes them issues but again they've done it before where they'll they'll do it some people just they got patience you know expect everything done today you know you call just snap your fingers and expect it done you have to give these guys a little bit of time and again it's worth giving them time let them do the job right and then we're more back on enjoying our trucking whether it's in game or online again if there was a way for us to join without going on truckers mp i wouldn't probably go on but they're right so you know we tend to drive where there's less idiots and i will use the word idiots because there is a quite a lot on there who just go on the servers just to spoil it for others again i do tend to lose my temper a bit especially if it's like you know a three hour stream and we drove say from russia all the way back to england them jobs are normally like three hours and you'll get into a place like calais or around that area and somebody will just crash into you damage alone of course we tend to use the um, welder truck jobs so they get logged on welder trucks and of course if you don't know a lot of people do know if you crash a truck with a welder trucks job on you lose the truck if you've got to go back and have it repaired so you know the two hours or three hours you've been streaming delivering your, your job I'm lost because some idiot decides to uh, damage your truck yeah, so you lose your trailer. That's when I get wicked, I must admit. I've shouted a few times at people. I've even shot my fist as well. So rather than get myself banned from Truckers MP, because I don't want to do that. Again, like I said, I've got that new. Well, I say it's not new, but it's new to me, which is that Trucky app, which Keith introduced me to. Dominic introduced me to um, Truck Book, I think it's called. That's another one which is like a logger again i should load it up the miles are due um i loaded it up today basically it gives me a list of how many jobs i've done how much i've earned times and stuff like that whether i've speed um it's basically just like a logbook so if you do weld of truck jobs you get the best of booth welds because you get it twice but if you do like the contracts which I'm doing now, we don't get the logs. Uh, you can also run your own um, company from the software, which I have done. Again, I don't know if there's a link on my YouTube for that. If you want to join my uh, virtual trucking company, and more than welcome. Again, I must say there's nobody joined it yet. Again, it'd help if I uh, actually put the links out to it on truck book. I mean, my, um, my aim is to get a few good people that play this game properly. Again, you know, none of this will crash into folks. I mean, I know some people do crash into people and they don't mean it, yeah? that you don't you don't tend to mind but if they crash into you uh deliberately then that's what i do i mean say if some reason this was a person playing you do get sometimes you do get computer lag we all lay on the same connections so you know i've seen it in times where the trucks have ju started to judder if i see that when i'm playing truckers mp i just fall back because I know that person's got a problem with lag on his PC, yeah, his internet connection. So EA genuinely want to hit me. It's because he's lagging and, you know. So it's a bit like in the real world when, you know, if you're driving down the road, you'll see another car or some other vehicle doing something that you don't normally see. You would pull back. You know, 
your own safety. Give him some distance. Oh, let's get into that lane over here. I thought it was an old shoulder at first. It's a bit odd, like I said. What I have said in the last couple of streams, when this game goes dark and I'm gaming in the day with loads of ambient light coming in from all directions, especially this big window I'm sitting next to, and it does take a little bit of time to see things. I can see, don't get me wrong, but when it's darker of a night time, my eyes adapt better to the darkness than they do sat here in the day. But I thought rather than leave this big mop combo till later on, I may as well do, what is it, 20 past 3 this afternoon, the may as well do this till about 7 or 8 o'clock tonight, um, might even carry on. Please turn you know, left. Or more than likely till I hear them words. Your tage done. That's think that's the only time they're not gonna stop me. A man call game on an empty stomach. As they say, right, where are we going? Stuck in the middle of the road here. <laughs> oh, I must say a big hello to my mate Bobster. Hi, Miss. Please me, use me, the right lane. I ain't got mystery right. shoppers on my channel, I've got mystery reviewers. He Please sits there right. and they'll say hello all night, but he waxes like an orc, bless him. Hey, hey, well guess what, Bobster, I'm watching you play Euro Tux, eh? He's a, he's, a, he's a trucker in training, just like our Brian. Again, so while we call get on to a trucker's MP, when we can, I'm sure... We'll get Dominic, we'll get Fred, uh, I'm sure we'll get Joel, another guy I've met through here. I'm sure we'll get Brian and we'll get Bobster. Hey, and we'll have our little own little convoy. So if you're watching that fellas, Turn left soon. at some stage, that's what we'm, uh, I'm going to look to organise while this coronavirus is on. Yeah. Again, I Please spoke to Dominic left. for a few days. Then turn right. Uh, I know Dominic's waiting for his rig to turn up. Uh, the last time I spoke to him, hopefully Please his rig's right. arrived so the chap can get back playing his games. And it can also give me an update on how his rig is, because I think the rig Dominic bought was the rig I was going to buy myself. But of course, at the time when I bought this, they hadn't got it in stock. Again, I've got nothing against the one I'm sitting in now. It's just the other one had all the TV stand built in. Again, uh, it was about the same kind of money what I'm paying for this. Again, I might be better because I can put that television stand anywhere. It's a bit different when it's on the back, on the actual frame itself. Taking nothing away from that one now. Um, I think it was about seven and a half hundred quid. I mean, this was six hundred and some odd plus. You've got hundred pound for a TV stand. Again, I only need the one because I can't put three stands up in the room. It ain't big enough. So again, now have a problem if I did go down that road again. I don't see me running three fifty-inch televisions because even though it's an RTX twenty eighty Ti, it wouldn't handle that probably have to put two in and again I think I'd struggle then I wouldn't want that kind of size uh, I don't know I might do hey let's see if a uh, lady look, looks down on me gives me them six lottery numbers because that's about the only time I would be able to afford that <laughs> or something like Tom Bowler but again people like myself don't win kind of money like that or do we? We'll see. If that's in my channel, go from sitting here in this next level racing to one where I'm sitting in a motion platform, jiggling and jumping about, you know, I've either won the lottery or had a good windfall on Tom Bowler. Hey. Don't care if there was a load of notes on money, it wouldn't change me. I'd still be the same person you see today. Just means I could get out of bed every morning and think, shit, oh yeah, I got a say for that kind of stuff. I can go and go out and buy it, yep. Yeah. Hey, 
because I see people who are rich and famous and they've got all the money in the world and they've got this and that and you know what they're still eh, happy eh? that's how money don't make you happy in the slightest just makes you don't have to struggle for stuff any road something that's quite familiar is traffic lights and they've got no cars coming the other road now we could break the rules and drive through but you know what I'm going to play it properly I'm going to wait until the lights change then I know I can go through again let's have a look it's only a little bit of road as well again this might be to do with that diversion um, who knows I love the sound of that <laughs> come on they will dazzle dip them headlights as the old saying used to say anyway we can go through now just got to make sure I do it now sides we've got bumpy road mm, no I thought with them bits of mud I would get like a bumpy experience but no anyway back in the day I'd used to I'd have hit them pipes I'd have hit the roadworks I'd fall them onto but not now I'm getting a little bit better just think so the hours we spent on here I should be able to drive these roads with my bleeding eyes shut now now is that something coming up the back of me speeding it sounds like it then here's me doing 38 in a 25 zone again please drive straight ahead so it sounds going to say please drive sensible then <laughs> when I started that conversation off Oh, guys, what's the same? Again. Always dark. I wish we could get, like, longer days, shorter nights. So, okay, you do drive through the night, but that clock could speed up more through the night. As, I say, it's that dark now. You can hardly see shit. Now, this traffic, uh, this... Um, weather mod also can bring fog down within seconds again I've turned it down a little bit so probably that's why it ain't bringing that kind of effect into the game oh dear, what's that C prison power station looks like a power station like a grid yep yeah. oh get off that old shoulder the old cushion telling me then. So I to go up a bit of a hill. I always tell when we go up the hill because my head tracking goes like that. <laughs> Wherever we are, we must be right out in the sticks because there are a vehicle in sight. Any stupid people like me driving at this time of night. Ten past two in the game. Oh, here we go. There is somebody still up. One trucker. I barely, barely see the lights. I don't know if it's just me, but since the updates, the game seems to got a lot, lot darker. I could remember it being this dark. Now, I know if I took this traffic mod off, though. Uh, not Sorry, not traffic mod, the weather mod. The game would get lighter. So it's whatever this person's using in his light boxes, as they call them, which is making the game for me a lot darker. I don't mind. Again, it adds to the game. It's just I don't want to be streaming all the while in the dark, yeah? But you do get to see, especially in this game, some parts of the game look better at night, where other parts look better in the day. So it's, it's one of them things. Yeah, I don't do it on purpose to drive solely of a night time. It's just the way the game is. Yeah. But it is nice to see like buildings lit up. Again, I know I've got my Scania thing in the window, which sort of does block a little bit of the thing out. And that's that boy behind me. Hopefully, he'll let me pass and get across. Please use the left lane, then turn left. Hi, I already beat your love. That's a little bad though, trying to turn when you're 40. It ain't too bad here, because the 
the lights on, on in the street. He's not enjoying him on the same wrong road then. I think I definitely need a new pair of glasses. <laughs> Again, oh, too sure whether them was going to be rumble strips then. Where's he going here, Barry Sheen? Please use the right lane, then turn right. Please there we turn go. Right. Right, a bit of everything happening there then. Buzz is coming, lorries coming, cars. Now this is what I was trying to explain to our good Mike now. This traffic mod. It ain't too much and it ain't too less yet. Balance is just right. Oh god, that's a bit dark. Where's the road gone? There it is. Couldn't see that to turn way to turn in then. How dark it had gone. Now again, I ain't sure whether we've hit Russia now. I'm assuming we have. Right, let's get back over here. I'll fill that road sign all times to 50 in a minute. Yeah, not what's happening up here. Traffic seems to be a bit slowish. What's happening? Is it a tractor? Uh, I normally tend to see slow moving vehicles. We get the road sweepers, them and fun. I was stuck behind a couple of them the other week. Nah. That's a joke. I don't need to be doing that slow in a car. And unless you all broke down, Paul, I'm overtaking you. If it had been something like a road sweeper, then I'd have expected to go really slow, but not in a car. Any road. Please drive straight ahead. Yeah, I can do that, love. Jobs are good, and. Right, this is going to be done 10 o'clock. I think that's going to be 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it is because it's in 24 hours. Uh, I've changed the clock to 24 hours. So at least I know what time it is. At 10 o'clock this morning, seven hours from now, this job will be delivered somewhere in Russia. <laughs> now, is that an alien or a star or the moon? Hard to tell. Because I was, I don't know if it was in this. Now it was in um, American trucks on that fictional ATMX map. You actually get alien spacecraft flying in the sky. Yeah, you get saucers. So I'm all seeing this right here, and it was flying saucer. Matter of fact, there was two of them. That's in one of the streams as well. Uh, one of the, a couple of the last streams I did on Euro trucks a couple of days ago. Um, really funny. Anyway, I'll try and find a petrol station in a minute. It's the old diesel's looking a bit uh, low. I definitely don't want we uh, running out of diesel. Get a little bit paranoid when I'm driving. Ah shit shit, I gotta fill up, I gotta fill up. As you notice. I have done it once, I did it on stream, I'll run out of petrol uh, and I rolled into the garage. I just put my foot down and I went from mega fast and a garage come up on the sat nav and I just rolled the truck straight into the garage straight into the petrol station and just as I got in, that was it. Filled up and but I I don't risk it that much now doing that. Plus, especially with these modified maps, they don't put petrol stations so close. The ones that are SCS software, they've spaced the, uh, the petrol stations out, but as you can see, 
the AC the petrol station for quite some time um, on this route so far wherever we am I know we're heading towards Russia that's all I know the bottom end of Russia I think it is they asked me to try and pronounce the names because I ain't even going to try <laughs> but if this was an SES map we would now add a petrol station of some kind plenty of these rest to sleep but I don't sleep in the game yeah so I feel tired to turn the game off as one or two you know we did that uh, like yesterday slow down and won't see whether that was an island got to slow down anyway because it's a 37 more road that's the truck stop they're sleeping in and it's the petrol station we want we need some uh, diesel again we just had one truck stop and there's another one so you know what's the point in having two again yeah I suppose if it's full again if you're playing on your own now you're going to be full but ah luckily they've put a petrol station here now so we can go and fill up and there's no worries about running out of diesel as mornings quickly approaching and the petrol station happens to be on is it my side of the road or their side it's their bloody side of the road so I've got to turn in and then turn round again great so we hate that entrance it's always this entrance I'm going to play the game properly even got me some cows in the field eh? what more can I ask for right then engine off fill up and that's it again you ain't going to see it but the computer just lit up green my indication to let me know my diesel's full now I can get out this road and that ain't too bad and again nice quiet road there's nothing coming is that Again, another thing with the track I or oh, I said this yesterday. A couple of things now I could not live without uh, when it comes to gaming. One is this tracking system, and two is the cushion. Yeah, then um, if I don't turn them on when I'm gaming, I'm like there's something missing again. I'm always going to turn the tracking off because I don't think I could go back to using the mouse. Yeah, I said this the other night with my good mate Mo. Uh, how did we get boy playing Euro trucks in American trucks with a mouse? I mean, I was the first one to buy a tracking system. I got the Tobii tracking board. Again, it is good software. It's just the interface and the actual software itself that let that down it's great for if you don't know wires yeah and just have your, head, your earphones on and i've sat there many not just earphones and your eyes um again is it better than pro mo uh, pro oh yeah track ir no um track ir is a lot easier to control more stable um so much better but they have got their um disadvantages and advantages yeah one is i'm tied to the computer via wires and sometimes you'll see me do this where i flip the the cables again when i'm over the other side of the room these cables will all go the back of me um same as the vr headset when i eventually purchase one so it won't be a, so much of a problem then um, I mean it is a shame that Toby Eye tracking couldn't work on this telly again it does have to be at a certain width 
Um, when it comes to telly, I think it only goes up to a 30 inch monitor, somewhere near there. Uh, so again, definitely one to wait on this telly. And two, where it's situated would be at the bottom. I can just about see the mech of this telly. Uh, but I'd have to look out, I'd be like this and nah, you want to relax when you're gaming. I like to sit in the chair and forget I'm actually it actually in a game if that makes any sense. When I'm sat here of a night time and you're watching me stream, if there's nobody talking and I've turned off my other monitor or I've told you all like you know, track IR clip, no microphone of course. The one I'm using now is the pro one which is fixed to the headphones. When I'm on the clip, I've either got the another set of headphones on without the mic but of a night time sometimes I've got the telly on so quiet I can just about hear it myself but it means I have to game with wires and I can just sit here freely okay I'm wearing a cap but sat normally in total darkness so here got the other screen on I don't have to have the lights on which I'm around the rig and the darkness then just adapts to my eyes and that's when I'm in that's when I'm in the zone that's when I'm in my zone yeah, that's more sort of like VR experience, yep. Even though it ain't, because, you know, we ain't in the cab. But talking to Mark this morning, he said, look, you know, you've got to get it out, kid. Because, you know, the feeling of being inside that cab and the angles and everything, so. That will be my next item purchased. I've got a couple of things I need to buy, but that is probably up higher on the old list, is a VR headset. As I said, once I've got my eyes tested, oh, oops. And again, I don't even think that they're in the country yet. Uh, everywhere I've looked to go and purchase one anyway. They hadn't got them. Oh, we've got a bit of an urban road. See, they expect that then. I'm going to get another bit. No. It's not like EIA map then, with the road going all uh, over the place. You never know what to expect playing these games when you have modified them. Like I said the other night though, there ain't that many people I've witnessed playing Euro trucks with a VR headset on, yeah? I've only, I've only seen two people do them live. Yeah. So... I know for a fact every time I'll, I'll, I'll spend more time in VR than I will in normal reality. As like I said, I've just got to move everything away from this door because I don't want my dear mother walking in and touching me when I'm it's bad enough as is it now you've probably seen her on some of the streams where her opens the door really as I'm streaming and shuts the door very quickly before it goes boiler on the internet <laughs> but um, rather than get startled by her touching me I shall be There'll be a bed between me and the console and that old girl. So, right, come on then. Hey, am I going to overtake me or not? See, thanks Mr. Boyka. You prevented an accident then. He'll come and try to overtake me again in a minute. I'll be speeding. Nice 50, well, even less than 50 mile an hour. He ain't coming again now. Sitting behind me like he should do. Now according to this, have I drove up here now? Couldn't have done. Couldn't have drove up here before because I've not only I've only just put it on. It's me, I now. It's revealing grey roads. It's just the way it is. 
you can see the yellow come just as you go over the top of the red I might actually do that in a minute when I'm going to drop this trailer off so I'm going to do this job and then I'm going to restart the game and I'm going to move my traffic back to where it was and the simple reason behind that is I think because it's lower down the order it ain't um, giving me the traffic yeah so it's doing the map but it ain't giving me the traffic that it should yeah priority wise because there should be a little bit more frequent traffic than what I'm seeing, okay. Seeing some, whether that's classed as being out in what I'd call the sticks, that's why we are getting some, but I would like a little bit more denser. If, not by much, but enough to know that I feel I'm driving on empty roads, yeah. Because it's like when you do truckers MP, certain times of the night when everybody's gone to bed you just got a free empty road and it gets a little bit boring after about two hours so you know whoa i just says with no cars as it goes up the arse end of that one but like on certain roads in the game you know you can pull out and there ain't got nothing gonna be there you can guarantee that when truckers MP you've got the little orange thing or yellow to indicate is it or is it blue? It's been that long since I've been on there. But it, it indicates another player. And if you had out see now dots on your sat nav, then you know you can pull out and you know drive on three lanes and do anything. Because there's nothing there. Yeah. I mean I've drove hours on it and nice in a car for oh probably two hours oh sorry well i don't intend to like to see cars even though people can buy cars in the game it's a trucking game not a car game but um it's been hours sometimes since i've seen a truck and i always do the older and someone will look back back again other times people don't pop back so everybody's their own right we're having a drop of rain i thought that was overdue again if you've never seen yesterday's stream with this rain this weather mod is absolutely spot on just hear that sound of thunder hey that makes you feel like you're definitely in a thunderstorm yep no two ways about it this is by far the best I've heard for thunder sounds to date yep and when I say thunder sounds I think I've gone through every weather mod that is available on Steam Workshop and all these other sites. The guy who's made this needs needs a pat on the back. No added extra foils to make his thunder nice and loud. Now I've got the windows up. So the windows down. And let's hear that roar gonna probably overpower a bit so hopefully let's get out of here this should rock the cab when that thunder goes off this time run now now when you want it to make the noise it don't make it now I've got the windows on I'm getting the air wet his rain sounds like rain. His rain's good on the windows. 
and it's still to do the mirrors it do totally cover up your vision come on thunder don't let me down right can that get any better for realism i don't think so folks That is second to none. Nah, looks like the traffic's kicked in a bit. Again, I'm assuming we may rush in now. So, could be doing the Russian cars. I'm getting my air wet from the window open, but I don't care. Anything for the stream? <laughs> Break, break, break. And here's one of them famous road sweepers. That knocked you down to two mile an hour. So let's do a little bit of a detour. Even the brushes on them uh, rubber sweepers go around. The detail they're pulling some of these vehicles is seconds on, on you know. I'll slow down a little bit because we've got poor visibility at the moment and I don't want to be travelling how far we've travelled to start crashing into shit down here now because it looks like we've got to go on a little bit of a detour to get around because some of these roads are ever so weird oh a bit of texture then bounce the truck all over the gap the second exit of the roundabout. Second, I call it. Is it a fourth one? Go see where I'm going. Seriously, go. Please use the left lane. There we go. Hi, so this for uh, weird roads. I thought that some of the roads here in the UK was bad, but some of them here in this game. Oh, jeez. Full 900. Look, they're getting around that bloody bend. Right, we're moving back over. At least I can do that on the road. I don't crash into me while I'm turning, John. Because I'm a foreigner. <laughs> and I'm out of town. Oh. Now you got a scooby do where I'm going. And he's pissing it down and the fun doesn't stop. Right. But though that sound good. Where's he going in that caravan? Of course he was going my way then in that bloody caravan. I'm as bad as them, I'm right in the road. But now for realism, more gone. I said it last night when this map kicked in, uh, this mod kicked in weather. Just imagine me now stuck in the VR headset. Definitely good. Now I've got a better Please pair of headphones lane. over here, right which um, a set of Sonoiser. The only trouble is there's no microphone on them. Now, Please oh, right now they wouldn't done, but we've got a diversion going on. So, Mr. Officer says I could go down there, there's been an accident somewhere. So I've got a detour, so that we mod is kicking him. Good. So, now I have got condenser mic down the side of my feet here. But again, it's more convenient to have this mic. But again, with what we've got now, I said to it yesterday, which is the RTX app for noise cancellation. Um, it is absolutely superb. Now again, it does state only for uh, RTXs. Uh, this is NVIDIA right graphics card. But unfortunately, right they've done a, a, a track, a hack or something, which will work on exit. other uh, NVIDIA graphic cards which ARTX is yeah now if you don't watch yesterday 
what it does is it's what they call a pass through so my voice is my mic is doing through this RTX app they're taking out background noise so basically I could tap on the keyboard you can hear a thing um, anybody outside you know I would neighbor the kids now before anybody could hear the kids playing problems with the kids playing but you know it puts out that much background pollution noise uh, any noise from now you won't hear it you'll only hear my voice now occasionally my voice will put off it's not that it's putting off if I don't speak loud enough then the mic ain't being picked up yeah now I know for a fact that the condenser mic is a lot better than the mic I'm using now but until I move the ring, I'm going to be stuck while I'm using at this present time. But when I'm over there, I can put the rate, the mic up and over and either have it coming over the top and pointing down which a condenser mic is best used for, as it's where it is, condensed one direction. Now I know for a fact uh, with the other one, so I've actually got two. Um, the actual one I'm using here, I'm, well not at the moment, but will be, Please is my old right man's, um, then take the right exit. from his old PC, Please take the right uh, exit. when my dad was alive, everything I bought for PC, I also brought my dad, so if I had an headset, my dad had a headset, if I had a brand new mic, my dad would have a brand new mic, I always treated him to the same kind of stuff as me. Um, so basically, I got a pair of Sennheiser, he had a pair of Sennheiser. Now more pair, I actually broke the lead. So, you know, when it comes to speakers, it's like having double enough again. It's a bit sad that I'm having to use Dad's, which I wish he was here to still use them, but again, better than going to waste, yep. So, you know. As sad as it is, my old man's not here for a blessing. Uh, I had to go and buy another condenser mic, another preamp. Again, I've got a proper mixer from my DJ days. And sound effects on and all sorts of stuff. Again, you won't use them on here. Um, and again, there's no way to put them on the rig anyway. And I'm going to put that uh, sound effects one on my desk when it's up here. I'm going to have a little mixer and the condenser mic going through the mixer rather than through this preamp uh, which is phantom power as a normal PC uh, plugging them into a PC how powerful it needs that a little bit more juice to power the condenser or well, this little um, I don't know how many channel mixer it is I oh, yeah, used it for about I don't know seven years since I packed in DJ it's in a silver fly case Please drive uh, ahead. where it needs to come out I've even got a couple of radio mics in there as well they need to show their face and also I could use them as well they are another good thing I don't know what's best to use, whether I use a mic stand back to got a proper boom mic stand that could go across as well. So options are more open. I mean the mic I've got now, same as the other one, it's on like a bracket. Um, but I've got no way to put it. <laughs> Unless I put it on Please the drive straight ahead. Oh Slow down a little bit. My physics are a bit uh, all over the place when it comes to bumps in the road. Anyway, we've got two hours left. Like I said, I'm going to move up the traffic. So, I might stop the stream after this and let's just do this one. What time is it? It's nearly four o'clock. I might go and have a bit of something to eat. Even though I said I'd carry on streaming, 
I can always come back later and we'll knock out a, a couple of hours. As I said, this stream now is just to make sure that the actual game itself ain't crashing on me or I'm having no issues. And again, it'll make a better streaming for later on tonight. As you know, people that do subscribe to the channel, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Um, it's quite a few people ooh, that have subscribed in the last few days. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Also to people that keep coming back, like we might, Bobster, Dominic, Fred, Amor, Brian, um, Mr. Stoics, and never in the uh, a few of us. Take the first exit to the roundabout. I mean, I know a lot of you again yourselves. Please use the right I always lane. try. I might not be popping all the Please while. Use the left lane. But I do occasionally come and surprise you and come and say hello. Oh, here we go in here. I hope I'm going the right way. It's a bit like being on a roller coaster. You don't know which road to do. How's the traffic look? Nothing there, obviously nothing. But just how good does this pro mod do? Still it was spot on. Trees for days, my lord, trees for days. <laughs> I've been to more countries in the world in this game than I've been in the bloody real world, I tell you. Okay. I have some fun with friends. Well, what you done today? Well, I went to Russia this morning. I went to so and so. They look at me like, has he gone mad? And then their penny drops and like, oh, he's playing that bloody trucking game again. <laughs> but it's true. I've been there. I've been lying, am I? Hey, not when you stream the video. Hey, videos just like a picture. You don't lie. Right, he come from nowhere then. Felt the wind off that truck then. Oh, it was. A, it was the wind off to be found. And another one. Here's me complaining about traffic. It's bloody everywhere now. It's ganging up on me. Yeah, here comes a car. And I'm doing not 50, 52. I need the 56 of the match. Well, I can do faster, but I ain't going to. Just come off the accelerator now, I'm just cruising. I only got 70 more left to go. Oh, dumb. Bit of traffic here. The ultimate hockey. Ha ha ha. Summit else I've never seen before. When they have a big market store. Again, I could have done, I can't remember. Now, is this one where I gotta slow down? There's some of them. I can just drive through, I think that was that one there. Oh. Go on, off you get them. Still get wary whether them barriers go. in this lane because he's joining on. Please use oh, the left get lane. over. Oh, I've got to stay in the left lane anyway, so... Stop where I am. Sometimes you say we're swapping over lanes until we have a look at the old sat nav. We shall move over you think, well, what's the point? I've got to get back over anyway. Just like then, I was going to move over to the right. The road's going back into a two-liner. And I ain't got a clue where they are, well, I have sort of, somewhere heading towards the bottom end of Russia. Don't need no diesel for this last little bit. Should have enough now to take me to the destination. That's where we are, whatever that sign says. <laughs> oh, there we go. I'm doing 40 in a 37 zone. Slow my foot down a bit.
summit region. That's about the only thing I can uh, pronounce. Must be another checkpoint. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it's another border crossing. Let out trust we. I need my passport to come into this one. It don't matter which one I go in. Come here, trying to catch us. Come on, man. My papers should be all in order, my passport and everything. Aye. I'll soon find out. It'd be funny if it were, wouldn't it? I thought that at one stage when the barriers wouldn't go up in Russia. <laughs> it's only because the DLC or, or the mod had got him. Wouldn't let the barriers go. Me and my good mate Bobster was there that one night. And if I loved the money, it would not let me go through. I'll drown that, I'll reverse the truck. Recalculate route. In the end, I had to stop the game, reload it up, and then it had let the barriers. Eventually, I found out what mod it was. Took the mod out and barriers went up and started working. So, just shows, just always make sure that the mods are compatible with whatever version of the game it is. And of course, at the moment, it's 137. At the moment, SCS software changed these game uh, versions like the wind. Again, to be fair, I don't think they'll really change the version too much now. Uh, unless they have to change it when they bring out these new um, DLCs for the different new places that they're probably working on. Again, if it's anything like the last two they released, that was really good. The detail in them was, was good. Again, you have to pay for them. Again, it's any like helping out pro mods and helping out. Um, Russian map eight or whatever it is what I've you know this morning. Was it ninety nine pence for Euro trucks and one pound forty well one one forty euro for that other one I've I'll pay for today. Pennies I mean I'm gonna have hours and hours. Don't even have to go and buy the SCS software DLCs that I wanna. I will do though. Um you know always nice to keep up with the latest uh, things for the game. Get down in the lower gear. All that trouble for six quid. And I might do two hundred pounds worth of damage if I hit the sides of these walls. All right, look at that now, eh? I'm gonna have to put a GB sticker on my truck. Getting better. <laughs> Throw that car, oh I put that car. Now why did you have to whip me trailer for? Hey? I bet he even going fast and he decides to drive into my trailer. Not that it's probably gonna make much difference. Because I've drove a virtual clean drive. Ace sped too much. Might add the occasional slip up. Again, I was just about to move to the right, and all these traffic signs telling me it's going back into two lane road. To be fair, we are too far away from my destination anyway, so I'm going to move over. Oh, that was deliver. I don't really realise I got a turn off road. Use the right lane, then drive straight on. Discovering a few new places along the way. It's 
Please drive straight ahead. Turn right soon. Please turn right. Love the sound of that brakes now. Sound ever so good, oh. Bit of a manoeuvre, getting into the place where I've got to jump the truck off. Trailer off, oh, say truck. I meant trailer, you know what I mean. Navigation finished. Cheers, love, you've done your job. Oh, we'll be parking this beauty. Down there, oh, that shouldn't be that hard. He says so. Have we nailed it? I mean, most certainly have, but that'll do for me. And there you go, folks. The first job done on this big, massive combo, thanks to Wombat. Right then, guys and girls, whoever's watching, thanks for watching the stream. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button if you like what you see. Then you don't miss nothing. And of course, you get a notification when I've streamed. Or have uploaded any content. And I'm looking over here when the bloody camera's up there. I will get a camera for this side of the room. Anyway, whatever you're doing, keep safe. Don't go out. Do as you're told. Coronavirus, you know. You know what I'm saying. Any road. As we say in the black country, to all of it. And I'll see you later.